What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Hopefully, you have a good weekend uh, watching a bunch of Pokemon action. There was a ton uh, this weekend with the new Brilliant Star set being legal. Uh, but today, what we're going to look at is actually a Gengar deck. Now, we could look at, you know, Mew because it won both. I think it won both the big tournaments, right? Uh, let me go to tournaments real quick. Completed. Uh, let's go to Celio's tournament. Congratulations, Celio. 298 players, fantastic. First place was Mew. Second place is Mew. Third place is Mew. So everybody's going to cover Mew this week. I don't care. They cover Mew. Uh, and then we had another one, which is by the GG Tour, which had 220 players. And first place was also Mew. It also took down a Arceus Dorelladon, which everybody is saying, like, Arceus Dorelladon is, like, the answer to Mew. But uh, three, I'm not sure how to say this person's name from the Czech Republic, they beat Arceus Dorelladon in top Four and in the finals, so fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty cool with their Mew deck. Um, pretty much went undefeated, only losing round one to a Mew Genesect, one out outside of that. And for Celios, I'm pretty sure it was the same thing. Uh, there was a player called Blask from Poland um, that went 12 0 and 1. Uh, so only loss was to a tie. So uh, Mew went undefeated pretty much that day. Um, yeah, but what we're going to actually cover is from um, the GG Tour deck. I really am really, really interested in this top eight Gengar deck from Leandro Fernandez. Um, it looks a lot of fun. It looks really consistent, and I've been a big fan of B-Barrel. Like, I've been playing a lot of decks with B-Barrel, and it's been a lot of fun, especially a B-Barrel with four boss order. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, Leandro would lose to Mugenesect, which... Um, Leandro did beat three other Mew Genesec players. The interesting thing is the Arceus Dorelladon. They lost, they beat one, lost one, and then tied them one, which I imagine was on purpose, so that way they both made cut and go into top eight of the GG Tour tournament. Uh, so a lot of things happening this weekend. What we learned is that Mew is the best deck. It's 100% is the best deck, but going into this weekend, there's actually regionals in Australia. So it's going to be interesting what comes down uh, from down there. From good old Australia and see what happens. So we'll see what happens. But this week we're gonna cover Gengar VMAX. I think it is a really good deck. Uh, I think it has a lot of answers. It's very simple, like simple like strategy. I feel like right. You just like Hound Doom into Gengar, Gengar VMAX, and you attack right. Um, and I like that. I like you know the simpler the strategy is better. Now Mew is also pretty simple too, which is why it's really good. And it draws a million cards. It's a really good deck. Don't get me wrong. This deck also has Turbo Acceleration with Houndoom with the Single Strike Ore. You know, you can attach an energy from your deck. That's a Single Strike card to one of your Single Strike Pokemon. You put two damage counters on them, whatever. You can do this multiple turns, depending on how many Houndoom are out. Uh, Gengar VMAX has Fear and Panic. It does 60 times the amount of each Pokemon V and GX in play um, on your opponent's side. So you can do a ton of damage that way. And then GMAX Swallow Up is 250. And the cool thing about this with Gengar, you only need to attach one energy and one Houndoor. And then, like, turn two, you could do G-Max Swallow Up, right? And just take, like, knockouts on pretty much every V Pokemon, right? So that's pretty neat. Uh, the new inclusion is going to be the B-Barrel. It's got the Industrial Incisors. You already have five cards in your hand, which is really good. Of course, you count this with Ultra Ball. You discard two, find a Pokemon. So your deck's really more... It's, like, super consistent now because, like, you still have to play the Evolution Instance, but you don't play Great Ball anymore. Great Ball was, like, okay, right? You look at top seven. If you find a Pokemon... Which is great and all, but you have to find a Pokemon. Uh, there's still one curb out of here to help set up with the Dark Asset ability, but I really like the 3-2, the 4-3, the 4-3. Like, this really, like, consistent line of, like, all right, I'm going to try to max on Pokemon as much as possible. Um, so I really do like that. And then I like all the 4s, like 4 Quick Ball, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Iron, of course, was needed. 4 Path to Defeat, because you counter Mew decks and everybody else. Uh, this is going to counter Dorelladon as well. You're going to need that because Dorelladon makes more special energy Pokemon can't hurt it. Uh, so that's really cool. I like the four boss, the four Marty, four research. Like, just keeping it like, okay, we're being consistent here. We're playing four of our best cards. Four single strike energy, of course. And only three hiding. It gives uh, the Dark Pokemon Stretch 2 has no retreat calls. Gives, you know, Gengar for retreat, Kerbat for retreat, Houndoom for retreat if need be. And two evolution in sense to uh, go about it, right? If you want to make it super consistent, I guess you can cut the evolution in sense, play a four switch and for hiding energy, right? Then you play like four of all your all your item trainer cards, which is like funny, or item trainer and energy cards, right? Uh, so yeah, there's a lot going on with Gengar. I've seen a lot of different builds with it, so we're gonna try this list today and just try it out. 
Um, I've been playing a little bit of games with it, so we're going to play some games with it and see what happens. I, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I like that you can actually talk about Ging RV. We didn't talk about Ging RV at all. At all. Uh, but Ging RV actually can do a lot of damage. It has Dark Slumber, which does 40, puts the active Pokemon to sleep. And Pain Explosion does 190, put 3 on your Pokemon. But of course, with Single Strike Energies, you can do a lot more damage. So Ging RV, VMAX, if you haven't tested it, well, today today's the day. Let's test it out. Let's have some fun and uh, see what we can get ourselves into. So this hand is, you know, it's not the best. We got a Hound Door, Hound Door, and a Bidoof, okay? So press done. We do have the turn two, like, I'm gonna evolution instance to the Barbaro and like go crazy. Maybe find a Gengar next turn or something. And it is a Gengar of their own. You have a good deck. Oh, it's a mirror match. Okay, we'll see how this plays out. They're probably like, what is he talking about, right? So I'm not the only person who thinks that this is a good deck. Not the only one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this should be fun. This should be fun at all. Oh, there's a the peak too. Okay. Well, no Corbett for either one of us because we don't play any uh, any stadium remover. Okay, so they did not have anything, and you know what? I uh, I also don't have anything. So, but my turn two, we got the beat barrel, we got the evolution assist for Hound Door, we can start attacking. Uh, there here comes their Hound Doom, right? They can start powering themselves up if they want to. Uh, they could do Darkness Fane, they, could, they actually could take a knockout this turn, which is pretty cool. And that is what we're going to see here. So we see the Darkness Fane got to power up the Hound Doom. Uh, now, there is no way we're going to take a knockout, right? Um, there's no way, right? The max we can do is 90. So we'll see, we need to put that first. So let's do this. Now, do we go with the Gengar? Wait, oh, that's the wrong card, Josh. There we go. Watch out, my little girl. We'll do that. We'll do this. Do I switch or just hold off right now? I think I'm fine with just Marnie in and just waiting. Okay, so we have the potential to attack with Gengar this turn. So let's put down Bidoof. Let's do this for this. Let's find ourselves a Gengar. Let's go Gengar, Single Strike Energy. Let's get this Single Strike Roar. And what this does too, it's, it shuffles that, sh that, switch here, that switch that we had. And I would do Industrial Sizers. So we did not find it. Okay. Do we put the other Gengar down? I think so. Why not? And then unfortunately, pass. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. Okay, so there's Gengar of their selves. Okay, so Gengar does come down from their side. Oh, they play Air Balloon. So this list does not play Air Balloon. It's something I was actually thinking about. But um, yeah, no Air Balloon on our side. No B Barrel for them either. And if they don't have any support cards, which they haven't played, we'll just go to research. No point of like giving them another free hand. Right. So let's see, what do they do here? Zora wants the pets right now. So there's a single strike war. Okay. I'm gonna put only Gengar on the bench. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a switch into the Gengar. Research. Oh, we discard the VMAX. So we actually can want we can actually knock out their Gengar this turn if we want to. So switch back into the Hound Doom, okay. They said, you know what? Just kidding, I'm gonna protect my guy. Right now it does 90. Hmm. Darkness Fane for 90. Okay. So put down the Hound Door. Hmm. So do we research first, or do we attach to this? How many single strike energies? It's like the plays I don't know just yet what to do. I got the deck output energy here, which brings you up to um, 280. They're doing two, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they're already taking a knockout regardless if they find the two energies. So I think I want to thin the deck and do this instead. And then we'll research. 
All right, so we'll do this. I'm going to ultra ball discard this. Press done. I'm going to ultra ball discard one and two. And then I'm going to grab the V Max. But I'm going to put on this Gengar. Okay. So I can quick ball this. To find this, I can Ultra Ball one and two. Press done. Go for a second V barrel. All right, so we found the switch. We found the hiding energy. We do the paint explosion. All right, so let's see what they find here. So just the one, so bad. It feels so bad. It feels so bad. All right. So there is their V Max. Now, if they put if they single strike road to this person, then we're able to knock it out if we find an urn. So we'll see if we can find that. We do have double houndoom ball sorter as well. We could. Maybe boss up like a Houndoom. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. Hmm. I think the game plan is definitely to try to knock out the Gengar V Max if possible. Houndor comes down. Boss order might be barrel. Okay, pass it to our turn. Okay. So put this down. Hmm, this makes things very interesting now. So we'll do this. My we'll boss order this. Industrial incisors. Oh, it's not good. Oh, we whiffed. Hmm. So we're just press done right now, unfortunately. Okay, but I mean, they really don't have anything either. So there's a Marnie. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So they can't boss order this turn. <laughs> there's their Gengar VMAX. Okay. Here comes their B Barrel finally. Here comes the Houndoom. So Industrial Sizers. How many single strikes? Oh, they're down three. So there's an urn to get two back. Okay. Single strike roar to the active? Or do you put it on the bench? To the active, okay. Okay. So we can knock this out this turn. Which is pretty cool. We can like retreat the two, earn, put the two back. G Max Swallow for the knockout because we do 290. Okay. So retreat to this. Ooh, very good. Very, very good. Okay, so we hit the switch. So I'll have to boss this because I don't have any more energies in my deck. So I need to boss this. I need to switch to this. I am going to B Barrel for two and see if we hit the. The VMAX. Oh, we don't. All right, so we're going to retreat into this. Discard the two. Play the urn to get back the two. We will single strike roar to the active. Single strike roar to the active. We'll B barrel again. Hopefully, we can find a Gengar V Max. Okay, we'll just quick ball, discard the Hound Door because we don't need that. We'll put this in our hand just in case that Marnie us. And yeah, we'll go for G Max Swallow for the knockout, taking three prize cards, putting us down to two. 
Evolution Incense. We could burn that easily. Gengar. And, oh, no energy. Hmm. The Single Strike Energy is still prized. We still have urns in our deck, so that's very good. I'm feeling, like, somewhat confident. So now this guy can't attack, right? So we G-Max Wallop. This Pokemon can't attack, which is fine. Uh, how many Switch are we down? We're down two, right? Yeah, two Switch. We have three. Okay. So there's one there. Now they put the two there. Okay. All right. So we're going to get Marnie. We're going to get four out of the nine cards. So let's see if we find the VMAX and the Houndoom. Or the G v VMAX and... Oh, we don't find it. Okay, but we have... Okay, but we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to earn and hopefully hit the two, which should give us enough to win the game. Can they even attack this turn? That's a real question. Can they eat? Okay, so there they go. Now they can get attack off, but... Yeah, we could take a knockout, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For three, plus 60, three, ten. Yep, yeah, that's enough for knockout. So we just got to hit an urn, which we get to draw one. Put one down, draw one, and then see what we hit. It's going to be very, very close. Another bidoof. All right, so let's see what happens, guys. Goes down to two. Both tied up on two. All right, come on, Gengar. Find me the urn. Okay, so we can go this. I don't want to shuffle up right now. I don't want to shuffle my, my deck. Okay. I can boss this up. Just so we can draw two more. We had nine. No, I want to hold on to this because we could go. We could potentially. Oh, we got it anyway. Okay, good. <laughs> I knew the outs were very uh, high for us to hit it. And then what I was going to do is we can Ultra Ball for a Pokemon. B-Barrel again. I know I have multiple researchers left in the deck. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we hit him with the well played. And do this. All right. There we go. We beat the mirror. Very cool. All right. There's my last single strike energy. <laughs> okay. It was a very, very interesting uh, opener for both of us. Max did a thousand damage. Whoa. Uh, it was very interesting because both of us pretty much had the same start. So, yeah. Colossal Viva! Thank you, Shaman. Always here to cheer me on. A little Shabe. Azor's also right here. She said, Meep. She said, What, Dad? I'm like, I don't know, Azor. How much is this card? $15. Holy cow. At one point, it was 15. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> All right. So let's see what Mally Goss 4 and 2 has for us. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm really liking this deck. It's so much fun. Uh, Yes, please. Yes, I want to go first. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we have a very similar hand, I think. Going here is probably the best bet. Just because I can attack with it turn two if I need to. All right, I can attack with the Houndoom next turn if we need to. So we'll see. So Sobble. Okay, this is actually a really good hand now. I either have to discard an urn, but it is what it is. I could go for a Crobat here, but I really don't like Clog of the Bench up with Crobats. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do this and press pass. Okay. Hoopa. So it's a Weezing deck. Weezing Atelion. Very interesting. I don't know how this matchup goes. There's a Marnie. Interesting. Bye bye, switch. Because we can attack with the Houndooms, knock out the, the Drizzles. Which I think is what we're going to do. Especially with a hand like this. Like, why wouldn't I? And we're going to keep calling to find more Sobbles. There you go. Oh, just a one. Just a one. So we find the VMAX. Um, so I'm going to do this. This. 
I'm going to put this down. I'm actually going to go for the Bee Barrel this turn because I think it's a better play to draw more. I don't want to put the VMAX down. It doesn't seem very good in this matchup at all, if I'm being honest. So we get this. We can single strike right to ourselves. And I think I'm just going to take a knockout, not play any supporter cards right now, just hold it. Okay, go down to five. There's an urn. Oh, man, second urn being this card would be terrible. But what we could do is like Darkest Thing and knock out one of the bench sawballs that we need to next turn. <clears throat> Look at us taking down the Antelion deck right now. Very cool. Um, let's see, but it's only turn one. The cool thing about this, we do have like attackers that can hurt his Pokemon, so that's very nice. <clears throat> so we'll see. Pain Explosion also can knock out like Weezings and stuff. Like, we knock out a Drazeo, which is very cool. Which I think is what we definitely want to go after, right? Go after the Drazeo. So there is a Scoop Up Net. So what do you got Scoop Up Net? This? Is it a Poopa? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I think no matter what, we go after the Drazeal. Because this doesn't knock me out this turn. So I'm fine with this. Yeah, I'd rather single strike road to this. Knock out the Drazeal. Get that out of play while we can. And go about it that way. Like we can go boss this. Maybe uh, we can go for single strike road here. And force him to use another scoop of net to attack with a Hoopa next turn. While getting a Drazeal off the board, which is very, very good. Now they do, they do play Claire, which is very interesting. So they're going to love ball. We see the um, Hoopa go into hand, okay. So it's a cast form for the free treat. Just shouldn't people play like cast form or like um, Coco. So the itching now is like if we knock out this. Hmm. Interesting. What do we do right now? I think I am going to put it on the Gengar just so we can knock out the Hoopa next turn. Which doesn't seem that good, but it's better than just sitting here. Man, can we not draw into our good cards? Go down to four, and there's a pass at a peak. We don't care about that, really. So cast form's gonna come up, of course. So we can at least earn back in two strong energies, which is good. We get use out of the urn. Yeah, I think that's a fine play. Because <clears throat> he takes a knockout here, go down to five. We take a knockout, go down to three. They can take a knockout of this, and they also go down to three. If they go for like a Sableye play or something. Hmm. We shall see. It's going to get very close. I think it's slightly going in their favor right now, if I'm being 100% honest with y'all. Just because they are getting set up a little better, but we'll see. Like, not finding the second Houndoom was, like, pretty not good. But, like, even if we single strike an extra energy to Houndoom, we would have got knocked out by Hoopa this turn. Or we would have knocked ourselves out. So, so there's the Claire I was talking about. Boss order my Houndor. Very cool. He's saying, you know what? Uh, I don't care about that. Because what they could do next... I think I'm still going to, like... Man. This makes things interesting now. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So I definitely am going to still boss this up. I think that's definitely priority number one. And we'll sing strike or... I don't know if there's another... Yeah, no, 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 there's not, unfortunately. And... Yeah, we're just darkness for the knockout. I think it's fine. Go down to three. Urn? No, can we not hit all can we please hit all of our urns? I, I really appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do comes up? Oh, Hoopa comes up. Clara? So they're gonna use the Clara now to get back the Sobbles. Because they are down three Sobbles. We just been pinging them down, which is very good for us. Um okay, double sobble coming down. Dark energy coughing. 
Cleansing gloves. What the heck? What does this do? Uh, oh, cool. Thirty more damage to psychic Pokemon. Interesting. Ah, this guy. This guy. This guy right here. Unfortunately. All right. Mm, it's gonna get rough. They might be able to, they might be able to go for a save I play. And if that happens, I don't know how to retaliate to that. Yeah, man, if we had one hound door, we would be in a really good spot to knock out and oppose in um Sableye. You can see Moltres as well. Like we don't have an answer right now, basically. And I think this was gonna lose this game. Not finding another hound doom. Like they're going to the hound door is like really good. I think we're playing our best though. I don't I don't think there's anything we could have done differently. I know I'm talking like we're gonna lose, but like I really do think we're gonna lose now if they are a really good um wheezing player. Which they seem like they are. Props to my opponent. So, so in a, yeah, this this has like Sableye written all over it, or Moltres? Which either one is a fine play. Yeah. Now, we could have maybe put this down, but I was scared. I am not going to lie to you guys. So scared. Wait. Did they... Put this down, down one. Okay. There we go. So take a knockout. Go down to two. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. You're so funny, Hound Door. You're so comical. I mean, the one of couldn't do anything anyway. We needed the... Um, we needed Houndor and Gengar both, so unfortunate. Do I earn? No, I don't want to earn right now. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to clog the deck up with more stuff right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll do this. We'll do this. Do this for this. Only one Houndoom. So we have one Houndoom prize. One Houndoom prize. Okay. Oh, well, that's game. Like, I can't attack next turn. Yeah. So, that's game. I can't win now. I can, like, boss and, like, hope they don't have a second, like, a second or third net, but, like, that's very unlikely. <gasps> Even put down this Moltres, I think is okay. Hmm. Be interesting to see if they actually put this down or not. Okay. Yep. So that's what I got. Three boss order. So see what they do here. All right, so it's gonna find the jersey deal for Scooper Net to send up this. There's a lot of outs here. Yeah, Shady Dalings, boss order, Scoop of Net. Yeah, that's also an out too. Yeah, like I said, this one was going to be a rough game, unfortunately. Very, very close. Very, very close. Like I said, good props to my opponent, so...
Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's go to game number three. Very, very cool. All right, so I think that is like one of the harder matchups, 100%. So I think I played everything correctly, but I could be incorrect too at the same time. Hmm. One coin flip, fantastic. All right, Marlin Avar. Okay, so we get the draw from Mulligan. All right, so if we can find one quick ball, ultra ball, hound door, we get two draws because of Mulligan, like a bee doof. Oh, were we defining? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is going to be a bad. It's actually probably another bad matchup here for us, 100%. Um, now, thankfully, we can maybe knock out this Urshifu. Okay. We did not play either of the two big decks today. That's all I got to say. We did not play against Mew. We did not play against Duraludon. But I, I really do like this deck right now. Um, in its position, able to, like, take down Arceus, take down Gengar. Um, you have Fighting with Moltres, which is really good, too. Uh, it's going to be interesting what they do here. So, Tower of Water getting bumps our guy. Rotom Phone. Uh, are we going to see a Sycamore, or just a Pass, or a Crobat, or what? It's going to be either Sycamore or Crobat, because they put down this. Because it wouldn't make sense to drop this unless you had one of those in hand. So, like, I, you never, like, just bump the stadium and then just pass. Because that's, like, not good. That's really bad. So, which I do see some people do that sometimes. They're just like, ah, I counter the stadium. Let's go. And I'm like, no, don't do that because they can counter your stadium now. And you had no use out of your one stadium. So, just food for thought, guys. Food for thought. So. Um, now, we can still knock out this Urshifu next turn. So, if he doesn't have a second one put down, it'd be really, really good for us. So, we'll see. Okay, just want to see a streak here. And we're to keep it active? Oh, baby, let's go. Man, we're definitely going to have this play right now. I don't want to do this, because I would have draw to my single strike energy, see if we have them. And look at there. So nine. So we'll bump this again. We will do this for this. I'm going to find another Gengar, I think. Just in case they somehow do take a knockout. So I'm going to single strike Roar here. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're going to put this here. I'm going to put a Dark Energy on this guy. And 19, 11, 12, 13. Bam! Look at there. 230. I wonder why he didn't strafe to beat him. That's... If he didn't strafe there, I think we definitely wouldn't have taken a knockout. So. Like, we would have went for a Bibero play instead. Uh, so, Bibero comes down. Okay. Now, this is it's not far. It's not even, like, close. Like, oh, this is GG. Because, like, they hit for weakness, right? So, that's very, very scary. There's another Urshifu, and they can, like, ping the bench and stuff, too, which is very, very good for them. Very, very good. Now, I mean, if we hit another ball sword, which we're already down two, which is kind of unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, you know, we'll see. <coughs> Everybody looks at the big barrel. Choice spell. Did they have a knockout here? Three, seven. Yeah, they do, actually. Oh, cool. Cool beans. All right, they gonna keep this active or no? Mm. So I need to go for the VMAX here, hundred percent. Um. Probably should have held on to that first. Oh, well. So we have to do this. I 
I could go for Bibero here or guarantee the Gengar. <gasps> no, with the... Oh, no, the... the no, they're... I think, oh, my gosh. Uh, not that card. Sorry. I'm thinking about something else. They actually might... I don't know math right now. I'm being honest. How many in here? Just one. Hmm. Hmm. So we can knock out a V Max next turn if it does come to that. Did they win though? Right, they win, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's the math I was doing earlier. Ugh, that's so bad. Yeah, he just wins now. Right? You just knock out this and this, and you win. Maybe I should have waited for a Dark Slumber play instead. What is he? What are they doing? Am I crazy? Are they, like, messing with me right now? Does my opponent not see it? It's like, knock out this for three, knock out this or this or this. <laughs> That's why I put these down because they're not gonna be barrel. Am I crazy? What twenty? Right? No, get out of here. Get out of here. One twenty. Thirty. One fifty. Okay. I have no idea what's going on right now. Am I crazy? Am I math wrong? I feel like that's right, 100 percent right? Mistake three price cards. You know, I got one of these two. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, guys. Sure. My brain hurts. Help me. Right? Okay. <laughs> My opponent did not know they were going to win this turn 100% because, like, there was no need to do all that. <laughs> Good game, though, opponent. Yeah, they didn't know they had win. I was like, you're 100% have win now. That's what I was like. I was like, Oh no, that band does so much more damn math now. Uh, yeah, we should have went with the Gengar V and Dark Slumber for like 60 and then follow up with Pain Explosion. Or with the Gengar V Max and knocked out. But even then, like, the. They still would have had potential to knock us out the following turn because what they could have done, instead of quick balling for the Moltres, they could have quick balled for another Rapper Strike Urshfu. And then they could have, like, energy switch, do the thingy, or just, like, knock out a staged like one of the bench pokemon or not that a bitch like snipe two bitch pokemon or something so i don't know i feel like they definitely had a game it's just a bad matchup right i don't see how you beat that deck uh but we unfortunately did not hit any muse or Duraludons, which i think this deck does do a fantastic job of beating but we just didn't showcase that today and that's what happens when you just record three random games and you don't try to play certain mat games or whatever but guys hope you enjoyed the video go test out kingdom more i mean we had two rough matchups unfortunately we beat the mirror, which is pretty cool. I think the deck is still really good. Um, we didn't showcase today, and other people are like, ah, oh, this deck sucks. Josh didn't win a single game with that. Eh. I'm like, guys, we hit like two of our worst matchups, and like opponents played pretty, pretty good. So like, can't be mad about that, right? Um, and I misplayed the third game for sure. Like, I definitely should have went with, like a dark slumber and knocked out the V Max the following turn, and then see what happens. But I think they still would have had it like in their favor. 
I don't know. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I still think the best stack for this weekend, if you're going to Australia, is, is Mew. It's, it's Mew. Alrighty, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, bye.